Hey guys! Thanks for joining me! So today I'm going to do a July and August book haul and we're combining them because of course I wasn't doing videos in July but I have a lot of books still on my table that I should show you because why not? And uh, I'm really hoping not to buy any more books in August even though, you know... But maybe I can stop myself from doing that and so everything in this video will be relevant to August also. If not, I'll pop it into a September haul just in case I buy something, you know, just in case. So I've actually got a couple of themes going for these last two months. And normally I don't buy according to themes. I'm not sure I was doing it on purpose. Maybe I was just in the mood for that sort of thing. But uh, I'll show you what I have and you can tell me if you have read any of them or if you have anything comparable because especially in one particular set of books I am still looking for more stuff like that so you can tell me all of your suggestions and maybe I'll come up with something I love. First let's start with the first grouping which oddly enough is anthologies. I don't usually buy anthologies, I mean I don't love short stories that much. I will go for a novel over a short story any day of the week. So it's really unusual for me to just be collecting anthologies for some reason. But you know, whatever, I'm happy to try anything and so there are a lot of good authors in these anthologies and I am absolutely happy to read their short fiction. First on the list we have Carney Punk, which I purchased exclusively for the Kevin Hearn story inside. Mm. The Demon Barker of Wheat Street. That is the name of Kevin Hearn's story in the Carney Puck Anthology. So yeah, if you haven't read Kevin Hearn, definitely do. And I'm going to have a video all about him. I actually already filmed it, but it was on a really, really bad camera. So I've been sort of tinkering with the idea of whether or not to post it or refilm it. Let me know what you think. Do you want to see my really bad video or would you rather see an updated video? Either way, Carney Punk is awesome. I've actually already read it. Uh, all the stuff in it is pretty entertaining. Kevin Hearns is of course my favorite because I'm biased and I love him. So beyond that, Rob Thurman's first story, Painted Blood, she actually opens the anthology and that one was really impressive, I thought. Totally unexpected. I didn't think that that was going to be what the story was about. Uh, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but regardless, this book is carnival themed, lots of urban fantasy. If that is your thing, definitely go pick this book up. I would recommend it. Next on my anthologies list is Ghosts Recent Hauntings. I really like ghost stories. I'm not quite sure why. I'm not so much a fan of horror as I am of just ghosts. So uh, when I see something about ghosts, I tend to pick it up if possible. And then of course I found out after I got this book home that Sarah Monette, who is one of my favorite authors, she has a story in here. And then it turns out she has loads of short stories and loads of other anthologies that I haven't kept up with and I'm like, how have I missed all of this? I'm so sad right now. Now I'm gonna have to go back and find all the anthologies with all of her work just to read them and then figure out whether I even want to bother with the rest. How sad is that? I haven't read Ghosts. Uh, actually, no, that's not true. I did read the first story out of Ghosts. I didn't love it. It had ghosts, but I just wasn't thrilled. But, you know, that's just the first one. There are more, and we'll see what I think about it by the end. We have Unfettered from Grim Oak Press with a pile of stories from a pile of awesome authors. I also purchased this one for Kevin Hearn because, you know, cheek, my favorites. So I'm looking forward to this one. The story in this book that is Kevin Hearn's I've already read, of course, but I am going to go through and read everyone else's and I'm really excited about it. So the second category that I was apparently collecting in this time around uh, is Japanese fiction, but not just ordinary Japanese fiction, it's mostly dark fantasy or dark crime fiction. So first on the list we have The Goddess Chronicle by Natsuo Kirino. I purchased this one because I found it on Amazon while I was looking through some of her other stuff and discovered that it was coming out in July and I was like, yes please, that's new and I haven't even read grotesque yet but I have read real world and out and I'm going to definitely read this one and grotesque which by the by happens to be the next one 
So we have Grotesque and The Goddess Chronicle from Natsuo Kirino and I will let you know how those are because I am so excited to try these out. She is just fantastic and I don't know what makes her book so excellent, they're just, I don't know. It's like they peer into your soul. It's, it's unsettling. That's probably why I like her. Next we have The Summer of the Ubume by someone whose name I haven't really looked at, so let me see. Um, Natsuhiko Kyogoku. This author is described as the Neil Gaiman of the Japanese mystery genre, so, ha! Huh. Didn't notice that when I purchased this book, probably because I ordered it online, of course, but wow, that's a descriptor, and so we'll have to see if I agree with that or not. So this book has to do with an exorcist and an unborn child and ghosts, and it sounds like it's got all kinds of things I might enjoy. I will let you know how it is. I'm actually hoping to read this one really soon. I kind of got caught up in some other books that distracted me from my Japanese collection right here. So as soon as those are over, and assuming I can stop getting things from the library because it's not like I don't have plenty here, we're gonna get on that. So this last book in the category isn't actually Japanese fiction, it's Japanese inspired fiction. We have The Melancholy of Mecha Girl by Catherine Belente, put out by Heikasoru a publishing group that I really, really, really like because, you know, Japanese dark fantasy and science fiction, I'm all about it. I actually haven't read any of Kat Valente's work before. I own th two or three of her books, but haven't gotten around to them just yet. So this one should be interesting, and then I'll get to the others and let you know how they are. Now this isn't really a category because every month I usually have at least one manga that shows up on my doorstep. So I'm not going to count it among the themes because it really isn't. But I'll show you what I got over the last two months. I think next month I'm only getting Oku number 8? Maybe number 8. But Oku. And if you haven't read Oku, please do. And when I get that one in I will tell you more about it. It is awesome. But until then, first we have Black Butler 14. Black Butler is so entertaining if you haven't tried it and you like manga, you should try it because it's so fun, comedy, drama, awesome, beautiful art, read it, you should. Next I received Gate 7 Volume 4, one of the many 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 clamp titles in existence, but this is one of their newer ones, at least it is in the states. So Gate 7, very interesting concept brings in historical figures from Japanese history and pairs them with oni, or demons, and gives everyone supernatural powers and immortality, and I'm not really sure what's going on yet, but it's cute, and the art's beautiful as usual. Thank you very much, Clamp. And the characters are fun, and yeah, give it a go if you like that kind of stuff. Finally, we have Otomen Volume 16, which I got in the mail a few weeks ago. Otomen is awesome if you like shoujo manga or ridiculous hijinks or comedy or anything like that. Otomen is definitely one to try. It is fantastic. I have definitely already read this volume. I usually read Otomen the minute it comes in my door. And all I can say is Asuka's mother is going crazy and she's driving me nuts and she's going to mess up everything. So woman, sit down. Finally, this one is completely outside the categories, completely. Nightlife by Rob Thurman. I picked up this book because I liked the Painted Love Story and Carney Punk so much, so I'm going to read it and see how it is. Uh, there have been conflicting reviews about this book, but I'm reading it anyway. I'm going to see what I personally think, and we'll let you know. So that's my July and August, guys. Let me know if you have read any of these books. I'd be curious to know your opinions, and definitely let me know if you have any suggestions from any of those categories, especially the Japanese fiction or some awesome anthologies and any manga that maybe I haven't read, maybe I have, I don't know, I've read a lot. So yeah, let me know what you enjoy and if you like any of these or if looking at any of these makes you want to read them with me. So yeah, bye bye!